Welcome back, everyone. I'm Joey. And I'm John. And you know, Danny couldn't make it. Um, he uh, he put the wrong coordinates in his GPS. Ooh. He's in Taiwan right now. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely true story. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, on the episode that you are watching right now, you're gonna see us talk to a really cool builder who has made an incredible game. Amazing, yeah. You're gonna wanna see it. Stick around, this is Block Party. All right, today on Block Party, we have a really special thing planned. We're gonna be talking with a really cool builder who is all the way across the ocean in Australia. Yeah. We've got him here on the line. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hello, my name's Jamie. The name of my game is Oracle. All right, cool, cool. What was your inspiration for this game? Um, well, I just thought I really like space games. So I just thought maybe I should make my own space game. That is, that's awesome, man. Yeah. How long did it take you to build that game? It's massive. It's ridiculously big. Um, well, I spent about 10 to 11 hours on the game, but that was over like six to seven weeks. So was it for like a school project or why did you build it? It was for school. My assignment's due this week and I gotta get it done. Well, I'm sure it's gonna get a good grade. Yeah, it's gotta be the best in the class. So I gotta know, what is your best score or best time for the game? Um, my best score would probably have to be like, I almost finished the game, like I was that close and then the boss killed me. Ah, the <laughs> boss killed you. Can't even beat his own game. Well, what's your favorite part of the game? My favorite part would have to be when I made that like, um, made that big ray in the game. Like I made this big ray in the game and it had like little things that you could talk to and then like explain it. It was really cool. So imagine I'm playing this for the very first time. Give me some tips for what I should do first because this it's so huge. It's massive. I don't even know what to do. I gotta have some tips from the creator. Don't skip, don't use all your potions at one time because you're gonna need them a lot because there's a lot of shrinking in the game. Hmm, a lot of shrinking in the game. Sounds like a, yeah, a okay. lot. Okay. Okay. Could you tell us a little bit more about your universe and if you plan to make more games in the universe, because I want to play those too. Mm -hmm. Um, well, the universe is like split up into like a bunch of races, Oracle, Nova, and Spawn, et cetera. You've got different races? <laughs> What? That is so detailed. That is awesome. It's so cool, man. So can you tell us about the brain boards and how you used them in your game? Um, well, at the end of the game, I had seven bosses. I had a really big boss, a really fast boss. Um, and then the last boss shot a, like a big laser beam at you, which was really hard to beat. All right, so you've made Oracle 1. Are you going to make Oracle 2? Um, Oracle 2 would probably be about how ship probably crash landed on a planet and you have to get to um, a radio station or something. Man, you're taking this all over the place. This is really sweet. I think this guy needs to get hired by Hollywood and start writing some movies. <laughs> Alright, so we're looking at the first room here. And yeah. It looks like you're in some sort of like escape pod or like, can you tell us a little bit about how, what inspired you to make the game start like this? So it's like um, an attack pod, um, you're meant to board the enemy from that pod, and that's why you need to fly up into the ship. So it's like an attack pod and you get to fly up into the ship. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, so we're looking at a room right now where there's a really big guy and a really small guy. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Uh, yeah, that's meant to be like the before and after of like their experiments. So like before it was all small and weak and then after it's all like big. Like a science experiment. <laughs> I like it. Before and after, that's really that's cool. cool. Alright Jamie, so what is your favorite part about Bloxels? Um, it's just that you can like create anything. Alright Jamie, so is there anything else that we didn't talk about that you want to tell us about your game? Oh yes, um, the game will have trophies. I put in three trophies all around the game. So if you look under one of the little, under the escape pod, there's a little trophy there. Um, you can find all the trophies in the game. And then the trophies are meant to give you some coordinates 
on the Infinity Wall. And if you go to there, there's like a little prize for you. Wow, that's really, I like how you're gonna tie in some maybe like other things that you can, uh, like little Easter eggs yeah. hidden throughout. That's super cool. Yeah, the really trophies good idea. and the yeah. little hidden things on the Infinity Wall sound really, really cool. All right, that was super cool. Thank you so much yeah. for taking the time to talk with us, Jamie, and great job on the game. I really hope you make some more, hopefully some sequels and finish out that universe of Oracle. It's super cool. Yeah, maybe we can have you back. Uh, sure. Yeah. So the last couple episodes of Block Party, we've been showing you a brand new game board only feature called Brain Boards. And we're gonna continue showing you some of the specific attributes. This one that we're gonna show you now is for the strength attribute, which is basically the enemy health. So the pink colored blocks represent the enemy health or strength. So should we put these brains on our enemies in the game? Let's do it. All right, so we've got our game here, and in this room we've got a bunch of ants as our enemies. All right, there's our little chicken guy. Chicken hero. He's back. Let's go ahead and assign this brain to our ant. We're going to okay. capture it. So this one is probably going to be pretty simple. One block. That's going to be pretty easy to kill. Okay, so we'll assign all those simple brains to all these simple creatures. Okay. And then over in the next room we've got... Oh, look at that guy. A little fox. Ah, a.k.a. Foxels. <laughs> Foxels is a great name for him, he's now Foxels, okay. You know, he's a little harder than an ant to kill for a chicken. Yeah, this is like maxed out strength, right? There's 20, 20 pink blocks. Mm -hmm. Since he is, you know, at the end of the, the room here, he kind of, there's a wall with the barn. I think he should be the boss. Ah, uh, yeah, he's kind of at the end of the line of all the little minions. Yeah. That's a Boom. pretty, that's, that's a boss, boss brain, you know what I'm saying? That's a boss brain if I've ever seen a boss brain. All right, so let's capture this bigger, badder brain. That is much more intimidating looking. Yeah, fully maxed out strength. There's also some blue blocks in there, which as you know, represents the enemy's size. So he's probably gonna be a decently sized yeah. box. He's as big as they get. Yeah, he's got 20. some yellow coins. We haven't talked about that yet, but we're gonna be talking about the coins. Yeah, you'll collect quite a few coins when you kill him. So. Projectile is maxed out at 20 as well. That's right. So he's gonna be huge, really hard to kill, and he's gonna be shooting some crazy lasers. But the damage is really low, so maybe the, the lasers won't hurt as bad. All right. All right. Do you want to play or should I? Go for it. Okay. I'm a little. I'm a little intimidated, actually. Oh, look at that little. Oh, oh there's, there's a court. bomb. It's jetpacks. Bomb. All right. All right. All right. So the ants aren't really moving. I won't even just bomb. Just Ten bomb some of those guys. Bomb them out. We're chickens, you know. You gotta drop bombs for a bomb. Hi. Yeah, you do. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, just oh, oh, dang, that's a big fox. <laughs> that is a big old fox. Jeez. Okay, so the damage was low, but he had no problem taking me no, right out. He had no problem whatsoever. Laser locked onto him. <laughs> yep. Okay. okay, all right, what's up, fox? What's up? Oh, drop yeah. bombs. Drop oh, you can't even, you can't even see him. Oh, you can't shake him? Oh, he, he shot me with the laser! Oh, <laughs> he's shooting everything. This is insane. That's not playing around. Just bombing him out. Come on, get him! Yeah! <laughs> Did you get him? Got him, baby. Oh, cleared it. Yeah. Yeah, just another really cool thing you can do with the game board only feature, brain boards. Yeah. All right, so if you want foxels in your game, and you do, absolutely you do, you can find them on the infinity wall at negative 5643. Thank you guys for watching, and a big shout out to Jamie. Thank yeah. you for talking with us and for creating that incredible game. We will see you guys next week. Hi, my name is Jamie, my game is Oracle, and you can find me on the Infinity Bowl at 60,001 and 60,000.